Welcome to the celebration of the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our sins for a moment so that we might prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son, of, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things that no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's listen now to what our scriptures have to teach us. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princes said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in the city. And all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, he is in your power, for the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchiah, which was in the quarters of the guard letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud, and Jeremiah sank into the mud. Ebed Melich, a court official, went there from the palace and said to him, my Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Ebed Melich the Cushite to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The word of the Lord. Lord, come to my aid. Lord, come to my aid. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me. Lord, come to my aid. The Lord heard my cry. He drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon a crag he made firm my steps. Lord, come to my aid. 
and he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, come to my aid. Though I am afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. O oh my God, hold not back. Lord, come to my aid. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat on the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, two against three. A father will be divided against his son, a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Let's talk for a moment about that cloud of witnesses. You know, every one of us, one by one, we are to have a deep friendship with Christ. And that's right at the heart of everything. But the important part that goes beyond that is that we belong to a cloud of witnesses today that we support each other, strengthen one another in the faith, and keep Christ at the center, not only in our very own lives, but in the heart of our community. And so never underestimate the power of Christ's presence with you, or for that matter, with an entire group of people around you. We forget sometimes about the depth of our families, those who have died before us, those that have gone ahead of us. We forget about those that are younger than us. 
and that are just school age or even before that. We forget about those that we're separated geographically from, but all are a part of the cloud of witnesses. How many generations back does our faith go? And in each case, the faith goes back way beyond the family that we can remember, generation before generation before generation. Thus it is the cloud of witnesses that we have around us. At the center stands the risen Christ and us right at the center with him. And then all around us, the cloud of witnesses. God bless you all today. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, and for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. And for our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And let us offer our intercessions that God would hear our prayers today. We pray this day for a, a renewed spirit of evangelization, that the Holy Spirit will guide us in witnessing to Jesus and all that God has done in showing compassion and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all youth, that God will guide their path Help them to recognize blessings which they have received and inspire them with new solutions for the challenges of society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our cities and neighborhoods, that God will break the patterns of violence, open new ways to resolve dispute, and give courage to all working to be peacemakers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially the loved ones we hold in our hearts, and all the souls in purgatory, that God's glory will shine upon them and that they may share in the peace of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Well, Lord, listen to these and all our prayers today and grant that all that we ask of you may redound into the hearts of every, every person at this Mass. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all the church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, canceled out our sins. And by his raising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without an end we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.